Welcome back. In this uh, little project I'm working on next, it is a dash upgrade for my 1990 Jeep Cherokee. Let me point out what I'm going to be doing here. So first off, uh, there's what I got now. It's okay, but I've been looking at it for 20 years and uh, just looking for a change. So that's all stock there. And uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is inserting a metal, brushed metal, for this section here. And then the gauges themselves will be white. And I'm going to paint the needles red. I think it'll look pretty cool. Let me show you what I got. Here I am again at my typical workbench on my picnic table out here in the uh, backyard. I've got the dash out. It's going to be a lot easier to work on this project with the dash out. It's not that hard to take out. There's a few screws up front, but uh, overall it's an easy uh, pull. So when you're uh, pulling the dash, uh, my right hand is supporting it, and then the left hand is uh, reaching in behind and uh, pulling the connectors. There's two connectors. Connector number one, this is a larger one. They have tabs on the end, so if you put in a screwdriver, you can compress the tab and it'll pop the uh, connector out. So there's one connector, and then over here on the right is the other connector. And of course, this is where all the uh, bulbs are. So if you got a burnt bulb, now's the time to uh, replace it. And then lastly, here's the speedo cable. It just has one clip on it. Just have to depress that. Okay, so pop the plastic off. Gonna get my trip meter. And uh, here's the first part of it. Here is the uh, brushed metal. Got it off eBay, seller. Cost me, I think, about uh, 15 bucks and a little bit of shipping. So there's the first part. Basically, I'm going to brighten up that whole area. I uh, had to uh, take a saw. Saw. File. File saw. And uh, make the turn signals a little larger. Next up is the white gauges themselves. And uh, there's a few out there. I like this one. Got this from the uh, Jeep Forum member, Azzy. And I like these because they are vinyl compared to just buying a template and printing off on your own crappy inkjet printer. So that's why I like this, these ones. And it does have uh, different templates that you can choose from for your Jeep. First thing to do once you have your dash out is to remove the screws. And uh, you have to make sure your bit is going to grab those screws properly. I found every gauge was easily breakable except the speedo gauge here. It's very difficult to remove these. Somehow these ones uh, really get sucked in there and I used a little bit of uh, penetrating oil and even then it was still hard. So be careful. If you can't remove these screws basically you're hooped. You can't go any further. You can't get the the faceplate on to, to lay level. 
So this is step number one is break those screws before you go any further. I've done these so they're ready to go. So once you have done that, you're ready to move on. What I'm going to do here, I'm doing some extra. I am uh, going to be painting my needles. I have this red hobby paint here. Cost me about uh, 250 from the hobby shop. It's acrylic. You can buy special needle paint off eBay for eight dollars plus shipping. Uh, your choice. So uh, I'm going to be painting my needles red because it'll stand out better with a uh, black, uh, I mean a white background. So let me paint some needles here. Needles are all taped off, ready for painting. Let's get started. Well, one down, five to go. All done. And now the actual gauge face plate installation. So I have my gauges here. I've removed the uh, screws already. One down, five to go. Well, that's looking pretty good, don't you think? Gauges are all in. So there's the stock 
That looks pretty good, but I'm gonna go with this stainless steel. Yummy. This job is done. Well, not really. I gotta fight and put it back in the vehicle, but the dash is ready to be installed. Looks pretty good, don't you think? We're back to where we started. Let's go take a look. Looks pretty good. I'm happy. Thanks for watching.